So once again, here's the chain link fence. Um, it comes with 26.4 inches, which also represents about 192 feet and is six scale feet tall. This is just your regular fence. So let's see what this one looks like inside. A little unboxing. And it should have pretty much the same sort of sections as the first one. Like I have to take it out of the box. And then it has just a removable top. It goes here. So much the same. You have got a double gate, which again, if you look at this, um, barely fits a car. So we probably won't use this in this particular um, setting, which again, we probably don't need to, unless I wanna put it on one of these ends, which I don't see why I'd wanna do that. So there's that. We have a man gate. And then you have two closed end sections. And then one, two, three, four sections that don't have poles. So again, much like the other one, we've got to have a pole that starts at everything. So we're going to move this probably to about there, saying that they own some of that property. So then we can go with a fake fence or a non-fence pole, fence post, non-fence post, and then we've got a fence post. And then we may just be able to finish it off with a non-fence post section, leaving two sections of fence, which isn't too bad because we can probably use those over on that side. Okay, so that's kind of the way that it lays out. Now this one's gonna be a little bit different because we've got to stick up one section of the fence first, and then we'll probably kind of glue as we go to make this all work right. I don't know if you guys can see that, sorry. We're gonna put up the one section of fence first. Um, like I said, out over here. So let me just move that a little so you guys can see that. And then we'll actually glue um, when we get ready to do the next section of fence. Yeah, I realize that's probably gonna go just a little bit into the right of way of the trains, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, okay. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna check out the holes. Again, these are a little bit bent but most fences aren't perfect anyway. I mean, we could even make it so that it's a little bit more of an angle to give it um, a little bit more reach, which I think we're gonna do. Poke a hole. That's the one side. Poke a hole here for the other side. And we stick our fence down. Okay. So that's our first fence in. So you see, it doesn't really take much to actually put the fence in. Now, the next thing is, is because we're going kind of around a corner, we want to make sure that these two fences hook up. So we will glue these together as we go. Oh, I'm still in that shot. Yeah, you guys can see me. So first thing we're going to do, lay out the fence where it connects. 
Make sure it's touching. Start a hole. Now I have foam board underneath this, so that's why I'm only starting the holes. Because if I do any more, um, with the way that these stick in, yeah, it it I won't I don't really need that much to get it to stick in. Find the two holes that I got, stick it in there. Now we put the fence up and I missed the bottom, which is really funny because I had it laid out right into the bottom. So let's try this again. I have to move the hole over and we'll move the fence up a little bit so that we have a little bit more room. The bottoms just don't want to don't want to match up. I wish I could just stick this straight down into it. The problem is if I stick it straight down into it, um, these are not very strong uh, that they'll bend. Okay, so there we go. Come over here, re-weld the fence together a little bit. Okay. There's the first section of fence in. So hope you guys can see that. Let's just uh, zoom in a little bit there so you guys can see. Oops, sorry, up the wrong section of fence. Go the other way. See what technology does when you don't get to handhold it? Okay, so that's our corner. So now we're going to come and do our next section of fence. So, I mean, it took a pretty good size chunk. Those are six to eight foot size chunks. I'm going to back out just a little bit. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing here. Now, remember, the next set of fence you have to put in has got to have poles on it because this doesn't have a pole. So on this one, again, we're going to put a hole right next to it, and then we'll find the other hole. Start that there. I'm going to bring the other fence. Right in there. Put the two fences down. Oh, sorry, hand. Just get the glue. Go right there. At the point of connection. Hold it there for a second. And this hopefully will fence right where we want it to be. I'm trying to move that end of it. Just trying to let it dry a little bit so we can move on to the next section. The other thing is, is I could just go get a clamp and clamp that real quick, which I might do because it's, it's having its issues. Actually, good thing is this is an equipment company. I have equipment. I'll just stick that in there, come on, bud. Just stick that in there and let the glue dry. Okay, move you guys over a little bit. So you can see this one, I'm showing you exactly how I'm putting it in and the time it's taking me to do this. So right now we're at about five minutes. Um, I, can't, I can't quite zoom in on that area too well. So, I'll go ahead and generalize this a little bit more. So the next section, again, we start with no fence post, which is, which is good, because once I get no fence post, then I can make the holes a little bit bigger. And yeah, like I said, these are a little bit bent. I'm not so worried about it. Okay, this one I might have to worry about a little bit. 
Let's see if we can just bend it back a little bit. Since it's kind of a little bit bowed the wrong way. The way that I want it to be. I'm gonna go grab a clamp real quick because that one didn't work either. Let me go grab a couple of clamps. Now I can tell you this, you probably don't want your strongest clamps in the world. You want them to be a little bit loose um, or else you might just crush the model. Put some more glue on there. Get you out of the way. That's holding up there. Put some glue on this side, and down on this side at the bottom. Yes, I went a little heavy on the glue. Which that just means that it'll take that much longer to glue up. Put a clamp down there. Now we kind of missed the bottom. Okay, so you probably could do this an easier way, which would just be to, um, I think we're going to just bend that out and then uh, we can end that with a post right there. I got to go cut this section real quick. So I will be right, right there. Then. Um, I cut off this little section. I found that this is a little bit tougher to cut than... Uh, the plank one, I actually had to use a pair of scissors to actually cut the mesh that's down there. So just remember that. It's a good little precautionary tale. All right, so let's take this next fence post. Get in there as close as we can. Got that in there. Double check this section here. We want it to be as close as we can to the edge. Okay, whoops. That's pretty good there. This one, we just have to glue together because I've put it close enough. Alrighty, and then finally, I don't even know if you guys can see this. Um, Put the last section in right over here since this goes right up to my to the edge of my layout that's exactly where i'm going to have to put it so this is where sometimes it'd be better if i was not right-handed Hmm. Don't want it to go there. I want it to actually go between these two. Shoot. I have to move that a little bit too. Okay. Well, let's Okay, there we go, right at the corner. We got enough. Some glue there, and some glue there. And there you go. 
there is all but two sections of fence plus another cut. So voila, we have a fence put up now. So pretty neat, looks kind of cool. Put some garbage down around it, some weeds and things like that, it'll look fine. All right, so there is the chain link fence. Okay, so there you have it for the Woodland Scenics fences. This is another little section of fence that I put in outside of the um, lumber yard, just on the corner there. I'll eventually put in a gate and then back over here, you can see the final product around the equipment company. And of course, if you wanted to, you can go ahead and glue the fence into place or not. So then, Kevin saying thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you want to. And tell your friends about this. Thanks a lot. We'll see you again.